Morning, Cat Mays. Morning, Vedettes. Ted Blanc, today I'm going to be talking to you about attitude. Next slide. This is what I'm going to talk about to you today. What is attitude? The impact of attitude on a mission, supervisor's responsibility, a case study, where the solution lies, and summary. Next slide, please. So what is attitude? A lot of people say attitude is everything. Now, what does that mean? Now, is that everything I need to do anything? No, not necessarily. Let's get everything soft that requires you to do everything. Everything mental that, that allows you to do anything, like schoolwork. We have the pens, we have the paper, we've got the knowledge because we go to class, and the question is, do we have the attitude to do, the, to do what we need to do to complete our studies, to, do, to learn how to lead here at ROTC? It's a mental decision. Attitude is a decision. It's a mental state of, mental, state of mind displayed physically, Cadet Bold said. Wake up in the morning, what kind of attitude do you have? Everyone's got a different attitude. But the question is, how are you, what are you gonna be like in the morning? Are you, are you gonna already be upset that you have to wake up and I've gotta go to school? Or are you gonna be, are you gonna make something positive out of it? Are you gonna, are you gonna wake up and be, you know what I'm gonna learn today? I'm gonna do good at PT, I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna learn what I can today, I'm gonna get the max out of my day because I only get one life and I only get one chance at this. That's, that's what it is, it's a, it's a decision, Displayed physically, it can be easily seen, as, as shown here, easily, easily identified. It's, it's extremely easy to see through our nonverbals and through our and through what we say in our face gestures. And they both say, when you when you get hit with a ball or something, how, how, are, how what's your attitude afterwards? Are, are you laughing because you got hit? Are you, are you laughing because you got hit, or are you upset at the person that hit you? It's a question. It, it stems from intestinal fortitude. Everyone's gonna have a different attitude in every different situation. I got hit with a ball right in the jewels, the PT one day. I went down. Now I, I could have been upset that I got hit in, hit in the jewels. I could have been wanting to point fingers at who it was. I said, you know what? That was my bad. I shouldn't have been leaping around like that. And then I could have gotten mad at the person who threw it. But you know what I said? That person who got me got me right bullseye. He got. Me. And, <laughs> Good, good for him. He, he had his chance. Maybe he doesn't like me. That's the, only, that's the only way he doesn't like me. That's the only way he can display he doesn't like me. By throwing a ball and nailing me right in the jewel. Extremely contagious, whether it's positive or negative attitude. It can, it's like wildfire. It's a virus. It can be spread to others very easily. And that's, as supervisors, we need to utilize that. However, we need to stop it at the negative. Next slide, please. The impact of attitude on the mission. It's directly dictates the, the success of the mission or the unit. We have a soldier here, an army, one time we need the army for a positive thing. But we have a soldier here, say he's in Iraq. What if that said he can't do? What if we have soldiers running around, running around Iraq, Baghdad, trying to make democracy, make things happen, and he's got a can't do attitude. You really think anything's gonna happen? You really think uh, we're gonna survive out there? Absolutely not, it can't happen. It's got to be a good attitude. This is our mission. This is this is what we, we have a huge reason behind this. We have to have a good attitude. There's there's no there's no if ands or buts about it. It's got to be a good attitude. I've related bad attitude to espionage. Similar to this individual right here, this computer. You're up here. You can't see. You're leading the, the unit or the mission. You can't really see what's going on because this person. Stealing right from out from under you, like he is out of the back of this computer. Stealing all kinds of information, it might be, well, it be the same thing. You've got a mission, you want to go out there and do it, but it can't be done because everyone's got a bad attitude. You don't really see that until it's time. Nothing happens. So, I've related, once again, I've related bad attitude espionage. Next slide, please. Supervisor responsibility, POC. Supervisor sets the tone and the example for a good attitude. If you, if you don't have a good attitude, your cadets have nothing to look up to. Or they, they do have something to look up to, a bad attitude, like these, like these snails right here. And the question is, what do you want to put in front of this, good or bad attitude? You're the head snail and all the other cadets are the little snails. The question is, which way are you leading them, bad or good attitude? It's your choice. you got, you got to pick, you got to, you got to set the tone, you got to set the example. It's got, it's got to have, be a good attitude, otherwise they got nothing to look up to. you got to stop bad attitudes. You can't just let it go. Like espionage, uh, like the espionage thing, like, or, or like I said earlier with the virus, it's got to be stopped. If you don't stop it, it's going to spread to all your other cadets, and your mission's not going to get done. Your mission's a flight line. Everyone's got a bad attitude about it. 
Well, guess what? It's either not going to get done or it's going to be the worst, the worst fight line ever seen. Listen, nobody wanted to do it. Instead, you could have taken 10 minutes of your time and approached them. Like this. Two-step process. This is what I made up. Very simple. Identify, like the individual over there. Look at him. Constantly looking after his cadets. Identify the problems, the bad attitude. Oh, that person's got a bad attitude. Extremely easy to identify. Just look for it. Identify it. Then we communicate and persuade. We approach them about it. It may not be a bad attitude that's a problem. Maybe something going on in their life, emotions, financial issues. But that's why we communicate about it. Hey, what's going on in your life? What you got going? What's, what, talk to me, please. Like, I can see it written all over your face. And maybe that is the dog just died. You don't know. But that's a different issue. Here we're talking about attitude. So if it is a bad attitude, then you need to persuade. Communicate and persuade. Why you got a bad attitude? Why are you here? You got to think about it. Like, you want to be an officer one day? What's, your, what, what's the problem? Like, how come we don't, how come we're not happy to be here? We'll talk about the case study. Side piece. Here early PT time, like the 0600. We got a 100 level cadet with a predetermined attitude. Here we go to PT. Dead Evan, what's the first step you're going to do? To For, in this case study, you got a 100 level cadet, predetermined attitude, walking into PT. What are you going to do? What's the first step? We just talked about it. Somebody want to help her? Identify. Ah, oh, there it is. Identify him. There he is. In that, in those cadets, right there. There he is. He's somewhere in there. Let's find him. Let's weed him out. That's the first step. Identify. So now we identified the individual. Look how easy it is to spot. So easy. Next, we're going to communicate, persuade, like we said earlier. We're going to communicate. We're going to talk to him. Hey, what's going on? Why are you so upset? Like, what's the deal, man? Like, what's the problem here? And he's like, you know what? PT's just an early. Early time, I can't do it. Six in the morning, I, I can't stand it. It's only an hour of the day. It's only twice a week. We gotta knock it out. Everyone's there. You can converse with everyone, see what's going on in, in their lives. See, just just talk to people. Make make the best out of it. But if you come and you show up and you say it's gonna be horrible, oh, it's gonna be horrible. But if you show up and you're like, it's only an hour a day. I'm gonna get my workout in, get my mental state of mind up, knock this out. It's only an hour of the day. Guarantee you that cadet's going to be like, you know what, that, that's, that's a good point. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make the best out of it, and it's going to be better. Okay, study. Next slide, please. So where the solution lies? First line supervisor, POC, right here with us. This is where it lies, like we talked about. We are the eyes and ears out there. We can see our cadets. We know our cadets. We can identify the problems and communicate and persuade, like we discussed earlier. A two-step process. So easy. The question is, do we want to do it? Do we have the attitude to do it? We gotta, we gotta make that happen. Now we have slim, pit, slim pickings in this detachment, but I put up there one of the solutions is choose some leaders with a good attitude. If you're chosen as the next wing commander, you've gotta choose the people that you believe have a good attitude or display the potential to have a good attitude. Maybe they don't have the, exactly what you're looking for, but maybe you can make them work to that level. I know we got slim pickings, but Choose leaders with a good attitude. You're not going to choose first-line supervisors that have a horrible attitude that you cannot change and have displayed that. They can't set the tone and the example for the, for the subordinates. Next, next slide, please. So today I talked to you about what is attitude, the impact of attitude on the mission, leadership, supervised responsibilities, case study, and where the solution lies. Next slide, please. This concludes my briefing. Are there any questions?